Hey, people who say PHP is insecure are uninformed. If you don't believe me, press the like button. You'll see. Almost daily, I see someone making a crack at PHP, implying that apps written in PHP are somehow less secure than other languages. I have never once heard this as a critique for PHP. And I don't mean that in any sort of rude way. I'm not trying to like combat the article off the rip. I'm just saying I've never heard someone say this about PHP. All I ever hear about PHP is about the quality of the language, not necessarily about the security of the language. Do you know what I mean? Uh, here's the thing, they're not. Uh, what does the idea stem from? I have a few theories about why people think PHP is less secure than other languages. I'm gonna address all of them. All right, people's perception of PHP is outdated by 15 plus years. This is just true in general. This is PHP in a box, okay? Uh, back in the early days of PHP, it was one of the few options for web-based languages and probably the best. There was also an age where security was more of an afterthought, so vulnerabilities were everywhere. This wasn't specific to PHP. Rather, it was a general lack of awareness regarding security in that area. Fair, cross-site scripting, all that kind of stuff, we had no idea, right? We just had no idea. Pearl's better than PHP. Maybe CGI bin that Pearl, hit it with a little bit of COBOL, call it a day. Uh, many older security professionals began, began their careers by finding vulnerabilities in websites during the 90s and the early 2000s, back when PHP powered pretty much everything. Now, when Welcome they the see PHP, code. I forgot I to turn you. off alerts. Thank you, Ma Magnum Dingus, for that awesome tier one. I appreciate that. I would just like to let you know that this music that's currently playing is not the right music. It's just not. We're going we're gonna to have to pivot. We're making a pivot. We're making a pivot because this ain't it. This is just not the right one. Now, when they see PHP, it just feels vulnerable because they're equating PHP with the vulnerability of 15-plus-year-old web applications. You see, PHP has stood the test of time and still powers most of the Internet today. I think it's 42.3% of the Internet is PHP, and it's continued to grow. Okay? It's continued to become more. Because of WordPress, PH, Laravel, Laravel also is playing a big big role in this. People love people love them Laravels, okay? Um, let's see. You let's see. You can't say uh, the same about uh, asp, jisp, cold fusion or pearl. <laughs> Master pages rest. I hope you don't rest in peace. I hope you rest in a horrible, fiery place, wherever that is, Microsoft. Uh, which oh, were the other popular web languages that were available 20 years ago? Uh, Cold Fusion, I know. Joomla, don't worry, Joomla, Joomla is disgusting. We have to give a shout out to ASP, though, which has been modernized with C Sharp, .NET, ASP.NET. You don't notice it's PHP unless you see a .php extension. Are you sure? You sure about that? Uh, in the early days of the web applications, we would split PHP code into different files and access those files directly. For example, if you wanted to visit an about page of a website, it would probably be located at an about.php. The user would have to navigate to example.com slash about.php, which would execute the about.php file on the server side and return the result. Yeah, unless if you're an HT access wizard, then you wouldn't need none of this, okay? You would need none of it. You just do that general route handling, move all those things around. It was so good. Ba back in the day, I actually understood what an HD access file would do, and I could actually use it. Now I have no idea. Now I have no idea. If you showed me one, I'd, I'd have no clue. Modern applications are much more likely to use application routing to forward requests to the right section of code within their application. When we use routing in this way, there's no need to have a dot .pitch uh, extension visible in the URL, so we omit them. Okay, this is fair. The vast majority of modern PHP applications don't show .php extensions in the URL. Uh, for this reason, you're unlikely to notice that an application runs PHP unless it's really old application. In that case, once again, the application is more likely to be vulnerable because it's old, not because it uses PHP. The same goes for .asp extension, for example. Okay, okay. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. This, uh, I don't feel like this is selling me on the reasons right now. Um... You know, because I knew 15 years ago you didn't necessarily have to have a .php, right? If you just routed your stuff correctly, you didn't have to have that either, you know? It's it's real. Just saying, you know, I'm not just saying. Um, examples of vulnerable code are often written in PHP. 
if you've done uh, ever done any app sec training, I actually have not. Uh, I have created such a glorious bug once that it, it could have taken down all of Netflix with a simple while loop. Luckily, that was corrected long time ago. But still, I made the bug. So I, I'm, like, really good at making them. Um, just not good at uh, knowing that I've made one. Okay. Netflix mentioned Falcor. Yeah, it was a Falcor design. I Falcored it. I, a capital F for Falcor. Uh, if you've ever done any AppSec training, there's a good chance you've seen PHP used to demonstrate vulnerable code. For example, how many times have you seen this excess acid demo? Echo, hello, get name, exclamation point. The truth is PHP is often uh, chosen as a language to demonstrate vulnerabilities because or simply because PHP was the language where most of the vulnerabilities were first discovered. Not because PHP is somehow more vulnerable, but because PHP was one of the fewer or one of the fewer server-side web languages that existed back then. Okay? Okay, I believe you. I believe you. Okay, just calm down. We believe you on this one. Just by training security professionals with vulnerable code snippets in PHP, we have inadvertently trained them to feel that PHP is somehow less secure. Okay. 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 You know, um, is this like a, okay. Do we have any app? Uh, do we have any security folks? Do we have any pen testers some pen 15s in the chat? Can I get some ones in the chat? If we got some security individuals in the chat, anyone got some ones? Can I get some ones? we got a couple ones. we got a few ones. Okay. We got, we got a few ones. A lot of zeros going to come in to let me so that I can never see how many ones there are. I test pens. Does that count? No. Okay, so we got very few. Uh, pen Island. Ooh, yeah. Pen test me. Okay, okay. Nine. Nine. Um, thanks, Warren, for that educational addition to this channel. Okay, for the people that pressed one and for nobody else, shut up. Do you think PHP, do you view PHP as an inherently vulnerable language? Ask my wife. Okay, I don't want to ask her. I don't. I don't want to ask her, okay? No, no, no. No, no, no. No. I don't. Just use 8.2. <laughs> okay, so maybe that's not a reason why people feel that way. Uh, people compare raw PHP with full web framers. For uh, some reason, when people argue that PHP is less secure, they often compare raw PHP we got vanilla JS. We got raw PHP with web framework in another language rather than comparing the two raw languages against each other. Uh, PHP versus JS. For example, I've seen people comparing raw PHP with next to JS. I mean, it's a lot. It makes absolutely no sense. Agreed. In fact, the closest equivalent to next JS in PHP world is probably Laravel. Laravel mentioned. Laravel. We got Laravel mentioned. Let's go. Let's go. And anyone who uses Laravel knows that it is amazing, modern, and just as secure as any popular framework in any language. Pog, Lambos. Can we get some Lambos in chat right now? PHP is very easy for beginners. Creating a web application with PHP can be as easy as writing a file in, P uh, writing a file PHP in Notepad EXE and uploading it to a web server. I mean... To be completely fair, it's just as easy as opening up a Node.js file, downloading 15,000 dependencies, and then once you download those dependencies, you have to create a build system, and then once you get the TypeScript out of the JavaScript, then you can actually probably use Node.js to be able to run it, and hopefully you've done everything correct. I mean, it's just that simple. It's like literally that simple. I don't see what the difference is. There's like no difference, okay? You just need Node, and you need NPM, and you probably, maybe you want to use Yarn because Yarn was cool, and you didn't realize it's not cool anymore, so you use PNPM, which no one can actually type PNPM. PNPM is impossible to type. Fun to say, though. It's this weird thing that exists where something can be both fun to say and terrible to type all at the exact same time. Easy sneezy, lim and squeezy. Don't forget about NPX and NX, and uh, you got to get NVM and manage those node versions. Everybody knows about this. There's very little prerequisite knowledge required. This is very encouraging for beginner coders, but beginner coders are the ones most likely to write insecure code. Facts. This is facts. PNPM. Yeah. Thank you for viewer. Thank you for that insightful PNPM in their pinky gate. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I reading chat? Why am I reading chat? By the way, for those that are watching this on YouTube, I'm 10 hours into a coding stream. I'm amazing at this point, okay? I'm feeling hot and bothered, okay? Feeling good. Uh, 
Let's see. Uh, this is very encouraging to beginner coders, but beginner coders are the one regularly. Yep, I've already read this. As a result, there's a lot of bad PHP code out there. Yeah, I mean, the same thing's to be said about JavaScript, okay? To be completely fair, JavaScript is the exact same thing. You know what I mean? Giga. Thank you, Giga, for that Twitch Prime. I, I also think that many developers who are experienced today probably started their web development journey with PHP. I did. Uh, for the web, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, I, well, to be fair, I did try JSP once. It was the only thing that was worse than PHP back then, besides for ASP, P, uh, uh, Cold Fusion, like besides for everything else, it was. It's really good. Uh, the code that they wrote when they started was likely full of vulnerabilities because they weren't experienced developers yet. Rather than blame their own in inexperience, they blamed the, uh, the languages they used. A poor worker blames his tools, as they say. I mean, sometimes I blame JavaScript for being JavaScript, you know? Have you ever thought about that? Sometimes your tool is kind of stupid, okay? Have you ever seen a hammer, the PHP hammer? The PHP hammer. Okay, like the PHP hammer... Okay, I don't know if you've seen the PHP hammer, but it's not necessarily like the greatest tool. I don't know what you're going to do with that tool, but that's the PHP hammer. All right, that's a real deal. This is a real deal. What do you do with that hammer? I'm not sure exactly how to use that hammer. It looks fun, but at the same time, it looks a little terrifying, okay? It gets you out of a jam both ways. It's, it, it gets you out of a jam every time. All right. Is, is it PHP's fault? No. In fact, I'd say that being a beginner is prob a beginner friendly is probably a net positive. Important production code is rarely written by beginners. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, people don't know about Laravel. Oh, people know about that Laravel, that little Lambo riding Mr. Otwell. Okay. A big fan of Otwell, by the way. Uh, it still blows me away how many cybersecurity folks have never heard of Laravel or any of PHP frameworks for that matter. They hear PHP and assume that people are just raw dog in PHP. I just assume everyone uses Laravel at this point. At this point, I'm ready to just start using Laravel and just give up the whole fight. I, that's it. You know what? I'm tired. Honestly, I'm just tired of fighting all the time. I'm ready just to use Laravel. Send me the guinea. I'm ready. I'm ready. Like, real, real talk. I'm just ready. I'm ready. I'm t you know what? No more Zig. No more Go. No more Rust. I'll just write PHP in Laravel and call it a day. Use open swole, which apparently is like blazingly fast. I consider Laravel to be one of the most robust, modern, developer-friendly frameworks out there today. It even has a healthy ecosystem of pre-made starter kits, testing suites, managed hosting solutions, local dev environments, admin dashboards, auth flows, debugging interfaces, and much more. Okay, wow, that's really cool. Most um, modern frameworks like Laravel attempt to shield developers from writing vulnerable code by using secure defaults. For example, the Blade templating engine in PHP w will HTML encode variable output by default, thwarting XSS vulnerabilities, unless the developer explicitly disables it. Uh, the, PHP the, the PHP framework for web artisans. Is that really, is that really it? I like as, uh, XSS, so I use HTMX. HTMX for SSX, you know what I mean? I mean, SSX almost sounds like sex, which any Arch user would get excited about. So that's probably why they use it. You know what I mean? It's like super close. They could, in fact, it could be the same thing. It could be. It could be. It actually could be. The, it actually could be. Um, more than anything else, I, when I hear someone imply in 2023 that PHP is somehow more insecure than other languages, it tells me that they are simply ignorant or uninformed. They're parroting, well, Literally, ignorant means uninformed. Yeah, it's the same word in this situation. Uh, they're parroting an inaccurate opinion that somehow has stuck around for decades. Uh, if you're, if you are still sure that PHP is an inherently insecure language, then I'd encourage you to try finding a zero days in some long-standing popular PHP apps like WordPress or uh, PHBB. Good luck. So. So here's, okay, okay, here we go. I'm going to give you guys uh, an opinion about this whole thing. Uh, I think what this article is really showing is that there's a general angst among any developer using any framework to want to prove that it's not terrible, right? If you're using Angular 
everyone judges you by Angular 1.6 days, right? They're like, oh, wow, you're using Angular? Does it come with pleated pants, sir? Right? Like, they're going to make fun of you. You're going to feel bad about it. And then you're going to be like, no, really? Angular is awesome. You don't understand. You're like, okay, they're pleated pants, Andy. Sure, it's fantastic. I believe you. And then they're going to argue and argue and argue. If you use, you know, if you use React, they're going to say a lot of correct things. Um, or HTMX gets XSS all the time. Like, right? They're like, ah, oh, HTMX, you're going to XSS yourself. It's going to be terrible. You're going to, you know, and they go and they have no idea what that even means. They just assume that it's inherently insecure. And so this is not somehow a PHP specific problem. This is literally the problem of Twitter.com. So if you go to Twitter.com and you just go on here and you just start typing something random, right? This could actually become. You know, like this right here, uh, people are going to take this to heart and they're going to get offended and they're going to start saying things and it's going to be awful. But the reality is, is that just, just, that's just how Twitter works, okay? It's just how it works. And then people gather all their ideas from their favorite Twitterer and their favorite Twitterers may not say correct things like me, who I have done this before, okay? I've said things that aren't correct. And then they go on Twitter, and then people believe it for the rest of their lives. Okay? No you. No you, my man. Ah, thanks. <laughs> Six, nine. Nice. Um, anyways, so is this a problem? Is this a problem with web dev? Is this a problem with PHP? No. Really what this is pointing out is that us as humans, we can't learn everything. We stereotype. It is just a part of our nature. It is something that is very hard to get rid of. And so when we go through, we just look at gen like general people's reactions to technology and we like adopt or reflect them ourselves, right? So when people are like, ew, PHP, like you adopt that mentality too. When you hear all of tech Twitter like, oh, React is the greatest. You think React is the greatest UI framework, which even out of the UI frameworks, React's not even the greatest, right? Like everything else is better right now. And so it's it's just like, it's just a reflection of what you think people do and you just make these judgments and then they settle deep in your heart. So it's actually called something, um, so this is like an old Donald Rumsfeld quote and it's not even a, a complete quote, but it goes, uh, there are known knowns, there are uh, unknown knowns or known unknowns and then there's unknown unknowns, right? So, like, that's the classic one. There are known knowns, there are known unknowns, and then there's unknown unknowns. Unknown unknowns are, like, the risky one because you don't even know what you don't know. But there's actually a fourth category, which is equally as risky as the third category, which is an unknown known. Why do you know something? Often you don't realize why you think in a certain way. And so is PHP inherently insecure? If you think that way, you actually are using – it's a known, it's an unknown known. You don't know why you've arrived to this opinion. You don't know why you think React's the best. You don't know why you think HTMX is insecure. You just simply have adopted these opinions via some sort of osmosis and being around other people. And that's just like life, and this keeps on happening. So should you be upset that people think PHP is insecure? No, this is just part of the life of being a PHP developer. You're going to take your little Lambo. You're going to hop on in it. You're going to take your hot wife. You guys are going to go cruising while your 16 kids are currently getting babysitted by three different babysitters, and you're going to go to your, your little nice golf course, play a round of golf, get on your yacht, and you're going to just cry about the fact that everyone thinks that your PHP sucks, okay, on your yacht. So guess what? Grow up. Get over it. It's not a big deal. The name is I probably shouldn't do React content because I'm really sleepy and I might be a bit too spicy at this time of the evening. Ajan!